Hi guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Alan Wake. You join us in the bedroom of a lovely trailer park girl. Lovely except for being possessed by the forces of darkness. She might be dead. That's my agent. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Hey look, so that's, he dropped the coffee, the poison coffee cup. Oh there she is. Coffee thermos. What do you have to say for yourself? The oh dear diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. So she's been turned into some kind of a zombie. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? I would not like to hear today's special. A nice day. Uh, I'll let myself out. Thank you, though. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem very good. Hey, and new manuscript page. Gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. So, yeah, let's just leave Barry back there. Oh, and everything's all foggy. Makes me think that we're gonna have to run. Oh, a radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. A turn for the haunted, he means. Dead sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> Is it just me? I think it's just him. Because seriously, it's not like that. Call her. It's a little bit creepy, but when you're inside, you don't know that. Well, look at that fog. That's haunted fog. Well, then stay inside. Well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but... Uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. This guy seems very suspicious. Well, he's calling a radio station at midnight. I don't think normal people do that. Well, I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh... You know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh... He let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same... Ah, full moon. That's a good sign. I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta... I gotta... I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks. Walt's probably not actually that crazy. Because I know something bad's gonna happen to us. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? What? Okay, I'm just going to keep on looking around. Yeah, well, I just, I... What if Walt lives in the trailer park? We're going to meet Walt. What's oh. Randolph doing at the gate? Well, he's going to open the gate. Either that or he's possessed too. Oh, look, he called the police. What? For what? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Knight. Remember, I was in there for 12 hours. Hey! You move a well, we're gonna get our meeting with the FBI now. Stay right where you are, Splain! Splain? Who's Splain? Uh, and that might be Randolph's last name. Okay, I don't think I like this FBI agent because his immediate response was, I'd better start shooting, he moved. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. See? Yeah. Yeah, that it, guy agrees. It's a good thing that oh. we ran away from Agent Nightingale. But there was no way I'd miss my point. We've got no gun, no flashlight, and we're back in the woods. Oh look, they're searching for us. Oops, um let's run. I, what? 
Okay, I totally look suspicious now, though. They called the police, and I shoved the guy that called the police, and I ran away. You didn't do anything to her, and it's not... They don't know that. She's laying there catatonic, and my agent is passed out. It looks kind of suspicious. The effect of seeing all of the lights in the fog is kind of cool, though. It's too bad that Alan Wake still can't run. See? Spotlight. Uh, I'm just gonna run around that. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. Is that See? a flare? Yeah, that's one of their flare guns. Ow! I have a feeling you might not... I guess the main path is the only way to run. It might not be the only way to run, but I don't really have a choice because there's people with guns over there for sure because they shot me. And you saw there were people behind us as well. I'm just following the objective dot and it led me to another path through the woods. Ah, a manuscript page. So I am definitively on the right path now. The only thing that could make this path seem brighter is if I find a gun and a flashlight. Uh-oh. Like, but I realized that... The fog is getting super haunted now. I re- Oh! Hello! Hey, it's looking for me. Um... I would keep going. Quick, let's search and see if it's got anything in it. I don't think you should. Agent Nightingale. What's going on over here? That's another manuscript page. I got a feeling you're gonna die if you go over there. Well, you saw the road was empty and then well, a tree, tree fell, fell on it. I'm not Trees sure. Trees fall over all the time. Yeah, nothing to be concerned about. I'm not sure what threw the car though. Oh, the sheriff is going to be on our side because she's not going to like Agent Nightingale. Yeah, I hope I mean, so. Nobody likes Agent Nightingale. We've seen Agent Nightingale for a total of, what, 15 seconds? We don't like Agent Nightingale. Also, his name's Nightingale. Is that a bad it thing? It seems ridiculous. Okay, so you figure that anyone with a three syllable last name can't be up to any good. Also, but seriously, I realize it looks suspicious, but you. Like, it they looks don't... totally suspicious. Well, yes, but, like, they can't prove you did any sort of crime. And what what are you wanting to arrest for? Well, at this point, they're only searching for me because I shoved the guy out of the way and immediately ran away from the place. Well, yeah, I, I need shooting. to get... No, they did that after I pushed the guy and started running away. Oh, no, it's Andy. Oh, now they're screaming. Yeah, oh, another car. So, whatever is searching for me likes them way less than it likes me. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Can you walk across that log? This one? This cliffside path is kind of cool. I'm... Too bad we're on the run, otherwise we could have enjoyed it, we could have looked at the scenery. During the day. During the day, not oh, the Oh, is that a police night. helicopter? It is. Yeah. Oh, time to run again. I'm gonna hide. Hold it right there. Yeah, you on the ground. It's the weirdest game of freeze tag I've ever seen. Well, no, they shoot you and you stop moving. Oh, see, he can duck for cover. Um, is that thing falling? Or did it fall? Did I'm not gonna stop and look. It sounds like the helicopter's crashing. A tree probably fell on it. Oh! This oh, it's gonna be super creepy. 
Well, there's a gas station. That's probably the gas station I saw earlier. Your view oh, of the telescope. Oh, that's going to be so creepy. Why? I know from other games, if you, like, zoom in, and you start using stuff, and then something, like, jumps Things out jump at you. jump out at you. Hey, but there's another one over there. Yes, but there's no way down over here, so it's just obviously things to stop and do, including another radio broadcast to pick up. Pollock and Thornton, come in, over! Uh, Thornton here, and uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were... Hey, what are you... Come on! Sit down and give me that. They've captured my agent. Oh, no. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan, over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of Oda Scotch about See? It. Uh, he was totally drunk. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Because they both drank something interacting funny. Ah, uh, that's great. This uh, one... That is still super creepy. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. So we are gonna finally meet Pat. Okay, well now we know where we're going. We're gonna hide from the police in the radio tower. I think it's comforting that you still don't have a flashlight or a gun. Because it means that you think they're not gonna spring enemies on us? Yeah. This was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Oh, that's right, because I still need to meet the kidnapper. I totally lost track of kidnapper meeting in the midst of police attacks. Oh look, the gate's haunted. Yay! Shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. Oh, wow, okay, the gate doesn't like me. Wouldn't get through without a light. Oh man. Which means I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna find a flashlight. Ah, look, it looks like a searchlight. That's like a flashlight. There was no power to the searchlight. Of course there isn't. Let's see what's up here. Thermos. Oh, and here's the generator. That was what I was looking for. Now, if only we had a long enough extension cord to bring it with us. And now it's broken. So, haunted tire swing, haunted gate. Alan Wake just has bad luck with pretty much everything. His wife's gone, his cabin's gone, the police are after him, the FBI is after him, his agent's been kidnapped. He doesn't and have he a doesn't, flashlight, he doesn't, he doesn't have a gun. Writing the story. Oh look at that. Another haunted gate. But over here, what is this? Oh, uh, it's, it's a flashlight. A flashlight. Oh, it's a flashlight no. that's on. That's not weird. Well, we still don't have a gun. So. Not only is it a flashlight, flashlight comes with five batteries already in it. See? I can evaporate gates with the power of light. Still flickering. That's kind of weird. And there's a cop car. Flashbangs. <sighs> They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Oh, look at him. He cares about littering. You saw that. He sees them on the ground. He picks them all up. I'm interested to see how flashbangs compare to the flares. I don't know if There's they the hood. Oh. We're going to find out. 
Oh, okay. They compare excellently. I like them. Lights them up and explodes them. It makes them just completely go away. Oh, did you see the back of that guy's jacket? I did the not. The police. Oh, no. Those are the police that disappeared. One whack from the police nearly killed me. And now oh, I'm but dead. now you're dead. So now we know. Throw it sooner. Because unlike the flares, which go off right away, the flashbangs, you have to wait a few seconds before they feel like going off. And I'm not going to walk through the woods. I'm just going to run straight towards that objective marker. Yeah, there might be still... And that's More my checkpoint, if only... Don't tell me that's a graveyard. It doesn't matter if it's a graveyard, it's a checkpoint. With more flashbangs. And a radio to listen to so I can relax. Here's another call. You're on KBF FM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? That was some guy at the trailer park that we just escaped from. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there. Lots of sirens, a uh, helicopter buzzing around. Well, not any longer. Well, obviously he called after it happened. See, 10, 15 minutes ago. Serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Doesn't matter. The police are already there. They're all dead. As soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should run away from the radio because music. No music. Well, that might be. Uh, the only thing that we had a problem with was. Oh, look, more enemies. I throw one. Yeah, there you go. That is just... Sound and fury. That's probably for killing four or five at once. Because you saw, we were totally surrounded. Can, you can't climb up that, can you? Even if I can, I'm going to pick up this manuscript page first. From the edge of the... Oh, <laughs> okay. He's got a little bit too much momentum. No, you can't. There's not enough steps. Not enough rungs on the ladder. So you're probably going to get to the radio station and tell him what happened. No, we're going to get there and he's going to be gone. He's going to be dead. Stop killing all the nice people in the town, Simon. Well, I haven't killed any of the nice ones. They've already been in zombie mode. Oh, oh good. Because the warden, zombie mode, Rose, well, I guess I didn't oh, kill her. Oh, there's a cop. Yeah, well, we don't really need to worry about the police anymore. They're all dead, right? Well, except whoever's in that one. Still, I will try and go around it. Yeah, no, he's dead. But maybe there they might be put more something useful bags. next to it, yeah. Because after all, that's where we found it. The there we go. And already that was worth the trip, because I only had to use one to get over here. Oh, look at those lights off in the distance. Is that's, that the base the of the tower? I think that's the gas station. I think base of the tower is a little bit more likely. See, that guy was slightly too far away, and so it didn't destroy him. I'm sure you'll have plenty, though. Hey, maybe this is where you can get that thermos. Which thermos? That was at the end of the road that you kept dying. 
Because there's too many people. Different gas station. Oh. We are not so Oh, this is the radio yet. station. I feel kind of stupid. I don't feel stupid. That was what I thought it was. And there's a gate. Is the... Okay. Good thing it wasn't locked. There's probably things hidden out there, but we will head into the light where to save instead. And we have another caller. You're on the air. Uh, I will go in and I'll talk to Pat. Just a second. There's glowing items to attend to first. Thermos and... Oh, it's lighting up the signs. Okay, Pat, we're gonna go talk to you. So, do you think he's gonna be okay, or do you think he's gonna turn out to be a zombie? I don't think oh, he's gonna be okay. There he is. Well, thank you very much for that. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Maine would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask He's gonna give us directions in exchange for an interview. There's stuff in these rooms, I know it. Writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. <laughs> this is weird. See, he's gonna get me an interview. Well, it's really we... weird that he thinks it's okay that you just show up in the middle of the night. Writers are weird. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time. Interview time. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Dan Brown? Yeah. You know who Dan Brown is, right? The Da Vinci Code. Well, he, oh, oh, he's just calling him a different name. Yeah, it would be like he was calling him Stephen King because he doesn't know that many famous authors. See, but again, he immediately starts shooting people. And there goes Alan. And we're not going to get our directions. Or we're going to meet... Broken leg, maybe. Maybe a rib or two. Come on. We slid back down into the woods. See? H.P. Lovecraft. Okay. That one was more recognizable immediately than Dan Brown. It's ridiculous. Really? To me, at least. For naming a book, The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Okay. There's a train over there. Probably Water tower. Hop on it. Train. More creepy abandoned buildings. Wow. Well, only thing to do is to go deeper into the woods. See. The game tells us that we're going to the train depot. Flares? Flares are alright, but they're no flashbang. Hey guys, watch this. Wanna see a magic trick? See? Poof! And you disappear. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Probably for the truck. Nope. It's going to start up a checkpoint for me. Because you see, there's haunted wind everywhere. And now I've got a gun again. And a shotgun. Well, shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. That's close enough. I can throw it at him. You could probably light it on fire with one of the flares. What would happen if you tried um, lighting a bullet with... You might potentially lose your hand. Dodge, Alan! Yeah, geez, Alan. There we go. Good. Ooh, is that another radio? Now, Pat Main is going to spend the rest of the game trying to reach out to me for that interview. Ow. He axed me. Oh, there's three of them. Ah, I guess I'm going to use up all of my flashbangs. We still have two. There might be more later. There was no sensible reason for the power. Turn on a flash. Flashbang. Revolver. Like me to use. Work truck. Yeah, why don't I just drive the truck? I should just stay in the truck the entire time. 
The darkness controls the take, and we've already established that mysterious graffiti. You are not telling us anything we don't already know. There's and your shotgun. There's shotgun ammo, shotgun. Ah, look at that. Well, it's a good thing that we have... Ow! 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 Okay, well... Flashbangs very quickly solved that problem. But now you're running out of them. I've got one. If I'd had all those lights on, well, that still probably wouldn't have made a difference. It's not really shining in a helpful location. Might have stunned them, though. Ooh, what is that shiny thing out in the woods? Let's go check on it. We still have one more uh, flashbang. Maybe you shouldn't Nothing can hurt us. It's a manuscript page, I can already tell. No, maybe there's some kind of branching point in the story when you meet the kidnapper. If you have more than a certain number of pages, you get a good ending. I mean, a oh, yeah. good branch. Under a certain amount, you get a bad branch. That makes sense. Oh, so those things you could probably use to just to stun the, the guys, turn them on and off. Yeah. And walk up to them. Anytime they walk into it, they would take damage. In fact, that light might even be strong enough to kill them, because you saw what the spotlight did to the gate. Right. Is that another manuscript page? It, It is. Ah, uh, the wind is getting worse. We are going to be surrounded on all sides. There's Any a train. Any second now. Doesn't want you to use the... Uh there's more batteries. Okay, good. Doesn't want you to have any more flashbangs. I've still got one. The game figures that's plenty. Hello? And we got a call. Most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. Hey. It's his wife. Cool. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. That's kind of creepy, and I don't know what she's talking about because we haven't seen her. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. Uh. Cooperate. That's just weird. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. But you saw, there's glowing paint, there's something hidden back here. I wonder if we're ever going to meet this the guy. This is weird. I wonder if we're ever going to meet the guy that leaves those glowing lights for us. The glowing paint. Probably not. Is it a thermos? Are you sure there's something behind um, the building? I thought there was. It looked like All one I of the lights. Ferns and ferns and uh, shiny rock that? walls. Hear what? That. Oh. I hear that now. Okay. Flashbang time it is. I'd be taking a lot less damage if Alan's dodges were more reliable. Because sometimes you press it and you get the fancy cinematic dodge. Other times you press it and he kind of flops like, sideways so and then you get hit. Yeah. yeah. And then you get hit anyway. It would probably help if he had a lung capacity greater than one latex glove.
I could see a railway bridge up ahead. Okay, well, we're going underneath the train is really close to the train, right? Oh, oh you're we're gonna, gonna follow it back to it. Follow. follow. Thanks. Weird paint. Right now? How far across does this go? It looks like it goes pretty far. Okay, well... I'll just run across and see how quick this is. Oh. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting a huge section of it to do that. That's what I was expecting. And it was taking over. Haunted Bridge. Hey, stop that. See, Alan gets attacked by plywood, he gets attacked by gates, he gets attacked by empty tubes. Absolutely nothing goes Alan's way. Why are we in slow motion? Oh, it's haunted objects. A flare might work. You know what? Probably would. So that's a barrel, that's another barrel. Section of pipe. Alan. I'm not sure what he's doing wrong, but everything he meets hates him. Even the things that like him at first, like uh, Rose, turn out to be creepy shadows. Right, I would throw maybe another flare. Doesn't matter. Oh, you I'm died. dead. I got smacked in the head by a girder. Well, we reached the train tracks. That's close enough. So I'm going to get back up underneath the train tracks. And that's going to have to count as our progress towards the train depot today. We'll, we'll try it again next time. We know what to expect. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.